Hi there and welcome to Amp3 TV. Now today we're looking at a different product, um, this one actually being more suited to home use. So in this case we've actually come to my home because this is a product that I use and you're going to love because it is genius. I wonder as to whether you're familiar with the Sonos wireless sound systems. This is a fantastic bit of kit, hence why we've come to my house because I actually use one when I'm not demoing it. It is a brilliant bit of kit. Now as you can see I've actually just stopped the music and I've done so off the iPhone because the iPhone actually has an application that allows me to access the music in any room I have enabled with Sonos. But I'll come to that in a second. Now Sonos is a very high quality sound system. Yep, it's a wireless device. And you can pop sonar stations around your house depending which rooms you want music in. Now I'm in my lounge. Off the remote I can access my music here, I can access my music in my conservatory or in my bedroom. I can sync them all up so if I'm having a party as I had a couple of months back you simply hit sync all and it puts the music out exactly at the same time, no delay around any part of the house. You can link as many zones as you want to and it will take up to 32 zones on it. Now another great feature of this is obviously in addition to linking up the zones, it will wireless, if you have a wireless network in the house, it will accept uh, all your music to it. So you can access your music library off this and you can do so using either the iPhone interface or the Sonos controller. Um, Sonos controller you can see is a bit bigger um, and it's pretty easy to use, it's very easy, well laid out, as you can see it's colour, LCD screen, you've got a kind of click wheel, he click wheel here, it's almost a bit kind of reminiscent of the iPod. Now the base units with Sonos basically come in two types, you either get what they refer to as a ZP90, which is an unamplified base unit, or you get a ZP120 which actually has a 55 watt class D amp in it. So you really only need to connect that to a set of speakers, they don't need to be amplified speakers. You could just, you might even have speakers off an old stereo or you might want to buy a really decent set of speakers because this system's capable of some very good sound. Now one of the best features, um, certainly for me, of this system is it gives you the option to connect to Napster. Now that gives you 6 million songs, <laughs> uh, it's like the daddy of all uh, music collections effectively. It'd be like looking at your local HMV or um, Zavi and thinking I want every bit of music they have in my lounge. Now as I sit here on the iPhone I think right I want to listen to Katy Perry, one of the boys, um, it's not a statement about her that's the track we're looking for, hit play try something else then we're on to hero oh we're not listening to that <laughs> by Leona Lewis but to that point it is that easy you can access anything I came back from holiday um, I'd heard a calypso in the Caribbean thought I'd love a copy of that no chance it'll be on this and that really is the challenge that Sonos and Napster laid down is try and find a track that you've bought that we don't have on this it, I found six versions of a Calypso that I couldn't find on the web. It is fantastic. If you have parties, oh, the thing's just a joy. Pass round the control to your friends. Let them go through the library, your library, the Napster library, add songs to the playlist real time. It is absolutely fantastic. And for me, the real key part of this system. Now, as I said, one of the genius things about this is you can actually control it off your iPhone or iTouch and this makes for very simple use. I actually find it more intuitive to do it off my iPhone than I do off the controller. The iPhone, as you tend to have it on you, is brilliant as well because clearly as I walk from room to room to room, each zone I walk into, I've got the controller with me. I don't have to go looking for something, you know, like a TV remote. You basically just pull iPhone out of your pocket, boom, 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 done absolutely tremendous. 
Problem is, once you get used to this Napster thing, you're not gonna wanna end the trial. You're gonna definitely have to do it. But at 10 pounds a month, it is stunning value for what it actually represents. Now obviously there is software supplied for your PC to let you create your own playlists, update them and sync them to your zones very quickly. It's very easy to do. Now there are other accessories you can get for the Sonos players. So once you, really the ideal starter kit would be something like the BU150. Now what you get with that is effectively one of the controllers, one of the ZP90s and one of the ZP120s. That's really all you need to go need to start with. That's going to get you set up for two zones. It comes with the free Napster trial. Um, there are other accessories like a cradle to you know obviously pop the remote in. You can buy what they call zone bridges, which are effectively little. Think of them like a repeater. If you have very very thick walls in your house, and I mean like kind of mansion thick, you could use zone bridge as a repeater just if you need to amplify the signal anywhere around the house. Now the setup is about as simple as you're ever going to get with this. It's very simple. It li literally, we set up the one here, um, which has just come back from a demo in five minutes, and that's to zone into three zones. Then update the firmware so that you could run the um, iPhone application on it. It is a doddle to do. You don't need to be a genius. The other thing I like about the Sonos setup is, of course, as you develop, change house, what have you, you can just add, buy bits as you need them. It's almost like uh, going back to, you know, kind of child railways. You can just buy an extra section as you want it, create another zone, and it's entirely expandable up to 32 zones. It's very hard to find anything to criticize about the Sonos. Really, for what it does, there's absolutely nothing better on the market. Now, yet this sort of perfection doesn't come cheap, but you know what? Treat yourself. This is an absolutely fantastic product. And if you love music, this is the best thing you can have in the house. So on to the scores for the Sonos. Value, seven out of 10. It would be easy to mark it down on price, but you have to take into account the market it exists in. There is no upper limit to pricing in the audiophile world. Features, nine out of 10. For audio, there's nothing missing. We've marked it down for no video, although it's a difficult call to make as it's always been specifically an audiophile streaming option. Design, eight out of 10. The base units are lovely, simple, uncluttered and attractive. It gets marked down as the controllers beginning to look a little bit old, a result of them wanting to keep the hardware the same, but the iPhone application illustrates how much better it would be with a touchscreen controller. Audio, 10 out of 10. There's no other score it can get for both incredible quality of the unamplified and amplified outputs, plus the amazing range of features like Last FM and Napster integration. Construction, 10 out of 10. It takes a lot for us to call something practically unbreakable, but this really feels like it. Every component feels built to last and there's no corners cut anywhere. The controllers almost feel ruggedized. Overall then, nine out of 10. It's not a new product, but perhaps with the latest round of updates, adding Napster and Last FM, the Sonos really has got the competition licked. It's a brilliant combination of superb quality and real ease of use. This has to be a reviewer's choice award. Splendid product. Please check out the website for more information and thanks again for watching Amp3 TV.